Hey everyone, it's Froggy, and today I'm going to be going through some of my teddy bear collection. Um, I said in my video where I talked about what's been going on that I wanted to show you more of myself, and one of the big things about me is that I'm a collector. I collect all sorts of different types of things, and one of the things that I'm huge about collecting is teddy bears. I've been collecting teddy bears pretty much my entire life. I inherited my grandmother's teddy bear collection. Well, I shouldn't say teddy bears, like stuffed animals. Um, so I've got tons. I have gotten rid of a few between moving from Quebec to here, but um, I haven't gotten rid of that many and I'm still going through them. I've got a few bags behind me of teddy bears. I've got more in the living room. I've got tons and I'm just starting to go through them now and find places for them. So I figured it would be fun to show you guys. I keep hearing something. Okay, it's not my phone. I kept thinking it was my phone. Anyways, so I'm going to go through one of the bags today and show you them because I've got some room on my headboard. Um, yeah, so the first one that I'm going to show you is this guy. He's not in a bag. Um, this is Cookie. I've had him pretty much since I was born. Um, I got him as a gift from my granny who was an extremely important person in my life and she's no longer with us unfortunately, but um, I have him and I've always had him and I've slept with him for a long time and he's very, very used. You can tell that uh, he's seen some shit. Um, he's missing an eye, he's, I bit off his nose, I bit off some of his hair. Like I used to teeth on him when I was a kid. Um, and he's just, he's a puppet too so I can like wear him on my hand. I have a lot of really great memories attached with him. Um, I remember when I was very young, my parents would put him on especially my dad. Usually my dad would put him on and he had like these big huge hands to me so I was able to like hug him and it felt like I was hugging like an actual person and then my mom would read stories to me per making his voice. It was really cute. I loved it so much. So I've got tons of tons of good memories attached to him. I used to take him literally everywhere with me and I'd wear him like this all the time. So this is how he's gonna be during this video. Anyways, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna start showing my teddy bears in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna start off small with this big bag here. And this is one of the smaller bags, so yeah. <laughs> um, I'm probably not gonna be keeping all of the stuffed animals that I pull out of here, but I'm gonna be keeping the majority of them, I think. Um, oh man, a lot of these I haven't seen in a long time. Like a lot of the stuffed animals that I had before were all in bags and in a different room of my house that I just never really went into because I didn't have room for them. Jinx, I'm in here. My cat's whining because he's hearing noises outside. Anyways, so I'm gonna put this on the floor and I'm gonna start pulling animals out. Um, and my cat may or may not come in here a few times, I don't know. So first one we got is a Tweety. Um, he's got his tags, but they're quite worn. So he's probably pretty old. I'd say maybe like 90s, maybe early 2000s, because he's in pretty good condition. He's got like glass eyes and stuff. So I like to collect teddy bears and stuffed animals and whatever, but the ones that I'm like super attracted to are the ones that are from like TV shows and stuff. Oh, the ones that I feel like are gonna, you know, eventually make money. Oh, I'll show you the ones that are behind me too in the video um but yeah so he's pretty cute i'm probably gonna keep him um like i said like any of the ones that i feel like that come from like tv shows and stuff i usually end up keeping those ones it's the ones that don't really that i end up getting rid of eventually unless like i have good memories attached to them at which point i won't like this guy here i have some pretty good memories attached to him he's a little cute christmas reindeer named jingle and I got him as a stocking stuffer from my mom a few years ago and then like at Christmas I'll usually like put him on my toilet so he stares into your soul while you're going to the bathroom. He's a cutie though. Are you Jinx? Here, take a reindeer. Take a Tweety. My cat's sniffing the carpet, I don't know why. Okay, 
So I've had him for a very long time. This is like a little lion guy. He used to have like a frilly thing that went around his neck. But I'm not entirely sure what happened to that. But he's just like, he's just a cute little tiger. But I'm probably gonna get rid of him, I think. I'm like gonna make piles of critters I wanna keep and critters I'm, I'm okay with getting rid of. I don't know what, he, what he's from. There's no tags on here specifying if he's from anything, so I really doubt it. He was probably like a prize. Like his, his, his back legs are just nubs. They're just nubs. Ugh. Uh, it's Ooh. Oh, it's Cookie Monster! And he's a puppet. Hold up. <sighs> Wait, oh, 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 he's got the moving mouth. Hold up. Uh, let's see if I can get this going. Nope. Oh, eh. okay, Me like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know I've got an older version of him somewhere. If I can find the older version, I might be willing to let this one go, maybe. Depends on... I have, I have a huge thing for puppets, especially, just because of him. I've always liked puppets. Not like Muppet puppets. I mean, I like those too, but mostly just regular of applause. Uh, it doesn't actually say the year that he was made. Which is weird. Usually they say it's somewhere. And the tags are still in pretty good condition. Uh, can't. Okay. Mm. Hey! Don't eat plastic. That's not cool. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep him for now. He's in my maybe pile. Oh, it's a little baby Sylvester. He's so cute. Sylvester is another one that I collected so much of. And I know I got rid of quite a bit of Sylvester because I just had so many Sylvester. But yeah, he's cute. But I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna get rid of him because he's a tiny little one. So. Eh. Oh, okay, okay. Do you guys recognize him? Look at his face. I know I probably showed him in other videos before, like on my old channel, but um, I love this guy. He is um, Tamaki's Bear from Oran High School Host Club. So I'm not getting rid of him. I mean, look at this face. How can you not love this face? Look at it. It's, oh, there, he's so cute. <laughs> I love him so much. Oh, oh, no, the bag is tipping. Okay. Did I lose any? No? Alright. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, it's Dino. Okay, Dino is from um, the Flintstones. Why did I blank on that? I used to love the Flintstones. Look at his little feet. They're so cute. Oh, his tag's all shredded and very worn. But I like my Dino. He's a cutie. I'm gonna put him in my cute pile. Steer into their soul, Cookie. Oh, okay. So this one's not actually from from anything. Here, I can't. I can't. I'm not sure if it's a cat or a sheep. Um, like a shaved sheep. But I always assumed it was a cat when I was a kid, so I named it Cat Pat. And I got him a few years after I got Cookie. So. I always pretended that they were best friends and they were always together like I used to have them together when I wasn't there and then I'd sleep with Cookie and have him like have this one watching over me on my headboard. I don't know why I liked this one so much but he's kind of adorable and I'm definitely keeping him because he, they're best friends. They have to stay together. Uh, mm, I'm sorry if this is kind of boring to you guys. But this is like something that I'm extremely interested in and it's it's always been a thing for me. So like I always get really excited when it comes to like stuffed animals and stuff. Um, but I know not everybody is very interested in that and probably a lot of you are like, where are the visual novels? But you know, <laughs> this is what I can do right now. And I am sorry that I haven't really been posting a lot of videos lately. I Life has been quite hectic. Uh, case in point, I'm working six days in a row this week. So I'm just, I've been very, very tired. Um, and busy and trying to figure out, you know, my new life and making some new friends and, you know, still exploring the city and lots of work. So I've just been kind of all over the place and it's been hard to put 100% into any one thing. And YouTube, I've kind of been letting slide a little bit, so I haven't really been able to post a lot of videos. But I've got some time this weekend. So I'm going to be able to start recording and posting up some new videos next week. So... 
hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, I know I am. I, I love doing YouTube and I love playing my games. It's just... Some, I'm just too tired a lot of the time, but I've got some time and I'm very excited for it, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, this is a baby doll. This is not a stuffed animal. He used to have a soother. This was one of my, um, my grandmother's uh, dolls that I inherited. She was very into, like, baby dolls and stuff like that, and this is the only one that I kept. It's actually got, like, genitals, which is weird. And this is, like, the original shirt that it came with. I'm not sure what happened to its actual clothes, and I know she put a diaper on it for whatever reason, but it's had a diaper for the last, like, 30 years. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna keep it, because I've never really been interested in dolls, and I mostly kept it for her memory, but I feel like, um... I don't know if you guys, any of you watch Graveyard Girl, but I know Bunny's really into like dolls and baby dolls and stuff like that, so I think I'm going to send this one to her, because I think she'll appreciate it a lot more than I do, and yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. So I'm probably going to mail it to her, and hopefully you guys will get to see her opening it on her channel. I'll, I'll write on the box, please open on your channel, so that way any of you who see this here will see that there. But yeah, I think she'll, I think she'll like it more than I do, which is sad. I should name him before I send him out, like Gunther or something. Oh, that's it. You know what? You guys can name the baby doll and then I'll write that in a note to her. So you guys go ahead, post your names below and I'll choose one that I think is really fitting. And that's what I'll, uh, that's what I'll name it. Okay. So now we've got some beanie babies. Baby badass! This is a bird. <laughs> I don't know all of their names by heart, but I know they all have names, so let's find out. This one is Cuckoo. K-U-K-U. -U. Beanie Babies were another one where everybody was like, oh, they're gonna be so popular, and you, you, they were a huge fad for the longest time. I don't even think I bought this one. I'm pretty sure that I got this one from uh, my ex, but because I have a lot of his stuffed animals. I think he just gave the bunch of them to me, but this one was, this one's pretty cute. And I'm, I usually keep the Beanie Babies anyways, because, you know, they might be worth something. So I'm going to keep this one. I'll find, like, a special place for the Beanie Babies. Ugh. Uh, oh, a cow. I love cows. Cows are my favorite animal. Um, so I just, I love cows. I just keep the cows. I, I keep all of the moos. This one is special and precious. And he's very floofy. Hmm. I'm gonna name this one Lois. This is Lois the Moo. <sighs> uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I got another bird. This one is an owl. I've had this one for a very long time, and I'm not entirely sure where I got it or why I have it. But I like owls quite a lot. Darken and Company, 1982. Oh, he's old. This is an old owl. Well, I'm keeping him. I'm gonna keep it because it's old and I like old things. This this owl is older than I am. You're old. Jinx! Also, I'm sorry if I'm kind of random and like <laughs> all over the place. I don't know. I'm in one of those moods. I just got off of work and I'm just like... <laughs> um, okay. This is a lynx. This is a bobcat. I totally know that. Yep, this is a bobcat. I got him from um, the, the Toronto Zoo. Yes, that's where I got you from. I got this from the Toronto Zoo. Um, he's a cutie. And I think we got him because we didn't actually see any bobcats while we were there. We saw a lynx. That's it. We saw a lynx and then we didn't see any bobcats and I wanted to see a bobcat so I bought a bobcat stuffed animal when I saw it. Jinx! Come here! I'm sorry, my cat is very loud. Come here, you doofus, what are you doing? You wanna come say hi? Oh, come here, come here. You wanna jump up? You wanna say hi to the camera? Come on, yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, is that you saying hi then? All right. Well, he said hi. There we go. Aha. Oh, okay. So this is a cranimal. I don't... 
See, I know I know Cranimals was a thing. Like, he's got... He's even got, like, a little butt tag marker thing. Kind of like how the Care Bears have, like, little hearts on their butts. He's got a thing, and it says Original Cranimals, but I can't find... I've tried looking him up before. I think he was probably, like, Cranimals was probably, like, a TV show or something. I'm not entirely sure. If anybody knows anything about Cranimals, can you please let me know? Because I've always wondered, and I just haven't been able to find anything. But I've had this guy for a very, very, very long time. For as long as I can remember, so I'm not getting rid of him anytime soon. He's a cute pup. He looks so tired and stuff. Look at his tired face. He's cute. Oh, the bag is starting to run on empty, so let's just keep it on my lap for now. Um, oh. Santa Garfield. I feel like I've had a few of these in my day. I know that we used to, my grandmother used to get a bunch of these. There was other Garfields too that she used to get and she would like give them to her dog as chew toys. And I think like at one point she had a whole bunch of these ones and was like using them as chew toys and I rescued one. Um, I might have rescued more than one and gotten rid of a few, but I know I got at least one of them. And I, uh, I've kept him for a long time. I usually put him out at like Christmas and stuff, so I'm gonna keep him. Cause he's my little Christmas Garfield. Uh, oh, another, uh, Beanie Baby. Beanie Original Baby, that's what it says. This guy's name is Pecan, and he's a cute little bear. Okay, did they actually like say something? His date of birth is April 15th, 1999, and late fall as wind gusts blow, Pecan hibernates before winter snow and early spring sweet scent of a flower wakes her up to take a shower. Oh, that's really cute. I didn't know they had that. Uh, where's the other one? Where did the bird go? Let's read, let's read the birds. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bring, have an encore for the bird. Cuckoo, date of birth January 5th, 1997. This fancy bird loves to converse. He talks in poems, rhymes, and verse. So take him home and give him some time. You'll be surprised how he can rhyme. Oh, it's very cute. Uh, oh, another beanie baby. Wait, are you a beanie baby? You are a beanie baby, but you don't have the tag. But it's a cute little otter and his name is Runner. And I'm gonna, oh, he's so freaking cute. I'm gonna give this to Fuzz because Fuzz's favorite animal is the otter and he will go nuts over it. I think he's gonna think it's totally adorable and I can't wait to see his cute face when he, that he makes when he sees it. Cause I know he's gonna make an adorable face. He's such a cutie, that one. I'm gonna put you aside. Uh, oh, bag is, this is the last one. This is Choco Bear. This is another one that I've had for a really long time. Um, I was, I used to be in cadets when I was 16. Um, and I went to cadet camp in Ontario and um, I brought this bear with me because I didn't want to bring this one with me in case anything happened. But yeah, I've had him since then. There's like a little bracelet thing. Do you remember? I don't know if any of you were old enough to remember, but there used to be in the 90s and early 2000s these little rubber plastic bracelet things that you'd wear and they were really thin you'd wear like a whole bunch of them and then people would like try to like break them and then that meant something and each color meant a different thing that you'd get I forget what it is but either way somebody broke one of them and they gave it back to me and I just tied it around his ankle as like a keepsake I guess but I've had him for a long time so I'm definitely not getting rid of him in any time soon either I like him a lot um so that's it for this bag um, so I'm going to show you the bears that are back there. I don't know if you can see them properly, so let me just roll out of the way a little bit. Okay, so up on the, can you see the top there? <laughs> Help! Um, so up on the top, I've got some Care Bears. I love Care Bears. They're my favorite kind of, like, stuffed animal to collect. I have a bunch of them somewhere, but I have those guys up there. Um, so there's Grumpy Bear, Cheer Bear, oh, Lots of Love Bear, I think? Yeah, Lots of Love Bear, and then, I don't know who the other one is, hold on, let me, let me take a look. Tender Heart Bear, okay, that's who it is. Um, and then I got this little dude here, little puppy dude, Loyal Heart Dog, 
So the cousins I don't have a whole lot of. I've been trying to collect the cousins for as long as I can remember because I've got quite a few of the bears. I know I don't have all of them, but I have quite a few of them. Um, but the cousins I don't have a lot. I know I have the dog. I've got the cat. And I think I've got the penguin, but that's it. So I've always been looking for more of them. Like I would love to get Braveheart Lion or Brightheart Raccoon. I love them so much. Okay, um, they're so cute. Okay, so next chef down, I've got some frogs. I've got a Meowth, because Meowth is my favorite Pokemon. Um, I've got a, um, a little Rudolph vinyl. And I've got um, oh, an Enderman from Minecraft. Um, next down is, ow. Um, so I've got some original stuffed animals from like the 60s or 70s with like the beans in it and everything of uh, Yogi Bear and Dino, again from the Flintstones. Um, but their tags got removed at some point. So that means they're worth nothing. So now I'm just keeping them for the sake of having them. And in the middle between them is um, back when I used to play Little Big Planet, I created a character and I called her Sally. And she looked like that. So um, my ex made me Sally. She's got the little bunny ears and like a red wig and a little red dress and she's got like a little um, fairy baton. It's very cute. Um, so down below that is Nala from The Lion King and she's got like a little flower bracelet collar thing on her. Uh, there we go. So next down there's a giraffe, there's a little cow, and then there's Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Below that is Lucy and Charlie Brown from The Peanuts, and Odie from Garfield. And then on the bottom one, I've got Winnie the Pooh and the little bear from Mr. Bean, like his little teddy bear. And I still need to shove some more little tiny stuffed animals in there. I might put some of the Beanie Babies in there, actually, so I'm probably going to do that later on. Um, but yeah. So those are some of my stuffed animals. I'm definitely going to be making more videos with more stuffed animals another time. Um, not today. I've still got to figure out where all of them are going. I'm not entirely sure yet. So those will be coming up soon. But I've got a lot of teddy bears. I've got so many teddy bears. Um, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.